Well, it's a project put together by veterans of every military conflict from the Korean War to present day. Photojournalist James Egbert shows us the Traveling War on Terror Remembrance Wall that's down at Riverfront Park this weekend. Man said, boys, call home. That's gonna be a long one. I don't wanna say it, but I will. Well, as you travel across the United States, you meet different people and how they treat veterans. Some of you may not see home again. You got to see how we treat our veterans down in Nashville. And uh, I was honored. It's the very first time I saw one of my best friends I served with in the Marine Corps, his name on there, he was killed in Afghanistan in 09. And it really touched me. And I was like, you know, we'd love to bring that to Nashville because there's so many other people out there like myself that has friends and family that's on this wall. Army Sergeant David A. Step Stevens. Army Sergeant Alexander Van Alten. Uh, I couldn't Cornwall ask for a better Jason way to be in Nashville and honor the veterans that they have here and let them know that they're not forgotten because I know that we have fallen from Tennessee here and you know we in each place we want them to know that they are not forgo forgotten and that's why I carry the wall across the United States. Ron Payne right here and that's uh, that's the same tattoo. That, uh, there's only um, 11 of these tattoos. Army Staff Sergeant Brock A. Beery. Marine Corporal David A. Bass. To reach out and touch that name, a name that you've not seen written down in a long time, and it's an opportunity to tell that story. It's very, very emotional. It's, it's probably a hell of a time in heaven that day. They all showed up together. <laughs> they did. <laughs> you know, they, they all the Marines walking in together, I didn't know what was going on. That's exactly right. As we can see, the price of freedom is not free. It's paid in the blood and the sacrifice of our fellow countrymen. I would really just want that our families and our veterans are not forgotten. I said, those are my brothers, and I know they might, may not be here physically, they may not be here physically, but um, their names being here feels like they've come to visit me at home. They came from little towns in Pennsylvania. They were men and women. They were the best that we have to offer. You've been a hero. Oh. The traveling wall will be on display at Riverfront Park until tomorrow afternoon. And